What's up, everyone? Coming in fast and hot, guys. OP Gamer, Furman. What is going on today? I'm here for you, Daddy Stu. <laughs> hey, thanks so much. Yeah, the sound's on. You should be able to hear me loud and clear now. We're going through a little bit of grinding for our goblins to use our stamina. Then we'll jump back over to that lightning poison pillar that was kicking our ass yesterday. We couldn't get past this one stage, which is very hard. We might have to wait till we get 15% damage reduction. Or come up with some clever way to really take it out. I don't know. It's going to be hard. Four years following in two weeks? Really? Hey, thanks so much, man. Two weeks, four years? Quite a long time. We've been through a lot. You've watched me through Raid Shadow Legends. Any other kind of Diablo Immortal. Whatever else I've played along the way. And then into Dragon Air Sound of Gods. That is pretty sweet, man. Still muted? Can you hear me? Cam? Yeah, you can see me and hear me, right? Good Monday morning, everyone. It is Monday, right? I have to check. I don't have a real job, so, you know, I don't really know what month it is, what day it is. You know? What's going on? You can hear and see me? Great. Yeah, what are you guys stuck on? Is anything really blocking you from progressing, progressing like this uh, pillar is for me? Head over there. Yeah, the... Uh, the pillar, it's only this one pillar. The other two, we got to level 60. This one pillar is just whole, you know, giving us a little bit of trouble. But, you know, we're only... We still have probably 40 days left in the season. Maybe a little bit over. Maybe 43, 45 days left. Plenty of time to knock out these last few floors. I do want to get this artifact. This artifact looks pretty fun. Faye 102 is hurting. What is that like? Achilles, what's going on, buddy? Look, game, good to see you. I'm only stuck, stuck on boredom. I'm stuck on boredom farming these goblins and waiting for something to happen. Waiting for this D&D &D collaboration. That should be fun. D&D &D collab should give us a new boss for us to focus on where we don't have to worry about leveling up heroes. We don't have to worry about gear. We can just throw in what works, what's fun, and get the event done. Of course, we've got to summon some dice, right, to be able to get the hero, Elminster. We've got to, they're going to make us summon some dice. But everything else should be pretty easy. We do this little, you know, run through the world with Elminster, just like we did with Drist. That only takes a few days. We have, like, little daily quests for, like, six days. It wasn't very long. Maybe maybe eight days. And then we have that boss for quite a while. So that's fun. What's going on today? More than enjoyed Raid? I enjoyed them both as much when I first started playing them. But once I get, like, really into it, what do I enjoy more? I enjoy the complexity of Raid more. I enjoy this combat style more. I kind of wish it was a mix of both. kind of wish you could take both of these games and mash them together. And play that game, you know? That'd be really nice. Better game or Dragon Air is a better game. They're different. They're different games. I don't think one's better than the other. I just think that they're very different. I think they both have their own flaws, but they are different play style. They're, they're gear collectors in their core, but they are different kind of play styles, you know. Sign up for beta and Dragon Air, but never got around to playing it. Oh, you didn't? Yeah, try it out. It's free if you have some free time. Play it on your PC or your mobile device. Either one, jump back and forth between the two. It's free to play. Come and join us. Yeah, if you haven't tried it, and you're, I mean, the graphics are the best out there. The gameplay is what, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you haven't tried it yet and you've seen this gameplay and maybe you've even played something like Eternal Evolution, this is different. This is different. It's engaging. It's fun. I've got it on autoplay right now, so it doesn't look like much. But when you're theorizing what you need to do, when you're trying it out, when you're trying positions and you're doing your tank, your healer, your DPS, it's different. It's fun. It's actually really fun. Free time? Yeah, yeah, you gotta have free time, right? All these games take up a crazy amount of your time. And if you're trying to fit in work, family, friends, and then other another game that you're already playing or something, you just don't have a lot of time. Achilles, what's going on on Fey 102? Is that... I remember there was one really hard floor when I was going up. I plowed through it because I had, you know, I was overpowered for it, but I did notice... That it was much harder than all the other floors. And I don't know if it was 102. I feel like it was somewhere around 130. 
February 2020. Two weeks, four years. That's pretty sweet. Find something to do? Yeah, yeah, just try it out. Try it out for 30 minutes. But you know how it is with any new game that you play. You'll probably be up all night. Whenever I start playing a new game, even if it's not one that I know I'm not really going to play long term, it's so fun in the beginning. You're just sitting there and you don't want to put it down. So you just keep playing. You're supposed to go to bed, right? But you just keep playing it for the next few days and then eventually you'll decide whether you want to stay or not. It's a flame group, so I did recall her name. But she's the dragon summoner under the under fire. Dragon summoner. Are, are there a whole bunch of wild heroes? They're just doing a lot of single target damage. Sounds like you're talking about Flora. She's a female and she's got a little dragon whelp. There could be two of her and then there could be some extra wild heroes doing some wild procs. Yeah, the first few days are so much fun. You just don't want to put it down for most of these games. Almost all of them. Yeah, if it's a Flora stage, I didn't really have a lot of difficulty with those Flora stages. I just kind of blew them up or controlled them enough that I didn't have to worry about it. I don't know if you've been using Ripekiss or if you have Ripekiss or you even have the means to scroll him. But man, I'm telling you, since uh, Strumus or whoever told me that I was underestimating Ripekiss' abilities, really great. He just locks. Oh, we'll go over to Faye, too. After we're done with this, we'll go over to Faye because we, we just unlocked three floors. We'll go over there and I'll show you. It's just crazy what he does. He just locks everything down. Along with a couple other heroes in there like Zarloth. He just... Ripekiss just knocks back their ultimate gauge, slows them down so much, along with some other heroes. Slowing, Zarloth slows down, too. And then stuns them enough. You know, once, a, once an enemy stunned, they don't charge back their ultimate. It's, it freezes, you know? You don't have him, unfortunately. Yeah, he's he's so cool. He's the, uh, what is he? Is he a troll? Yeah, Ripekiss is a legendary troll in Necrosis. I'm almost positive it's Necrosis. Yeah. He's the one that pops kind of underground and then pops up. Starts swinging his little uh, scythe. You'll Google him? Yeah, you haven't played yet, so you don't know. You'll see him in a minute. We just got to eat some of this stamina down a little bit more. Maybe a few more runs. It's not like he's OP overall, but he's really good in arena, and he's really good going through story mode, pillar, and fey meander. You know, anything where we're fighting normal mobs like this, he's very strong. Some stun gear? Yeah, I've got him in a stun set too. Right, so that ultimate. So he stuns with his battle skill. And I think it was five, it was three seconds or five seconds. So that's every 10 seconds he's stunning somebody if you have him scrolled. Stunning like a group, a three by three group. And then when he does his ultimate, it's the big diamond shaped one. You put him in a stun set, three hits. I have him with Witch's Remains too, so we'll get decreased defense. He puts up all those other debuffs. If you just knock back the ultimate one or two times, not even three times, because it's a 50% chance to knock it back by 20%. But if you get like a 20% or if you're lucky enough to get 40% or get crazy and get that 60% knockback, they're done. They're never doing their ultimate ability. With all the stuns and slow speed, they're not doing their ultimate. Even with just a little bit of a knockback. It's turn meter. It, it, it's basically like turn meter for a raid. Same thing. Yeah, these designs are the best. These are the best graphics we've had come out in a really long time. And, you know, when you go into the character selection screen, you can, you know, spin them 3D models and stuff. And the open world's really nice with this, too, especially if you're playing on PC like I am. You can see the, the you can see detail really easy. It's just clear. Clear and clean. That's how I like it. Like, they make it... Like, even the background's not... Right? The background's not crazy, so it's not taken away from the look of our heroes. But it's enough. Like, it's enough to make it interesting... I don't need any crazy detail or too much going on. I need to be able to see my heroes, and I need to be able to see them clearly, and that's what this does. I like that about it. If I were to design a game, I would definitely like doing it, you know, this style of graphics. Some on your phone at BlueStacks? You don't need an emulator. It's got a PC client. You can do exclamation mark dragon air right here. That'll lead you to their website. Their official website, you know, where you can download the PC client. I think they even have it on Mac. 
and then it, it'll log you in. It'll log you in just like Raid. You know, you can jump back and forth between your phone and this. Although, I don't like playing any game on my phone. I swear, phones are too small nowadays to play games on. Unless you're forced to. I just hate doing it. Because it, I'm an old man, all right? I'm an old man. It's just too small for me. The phone is too small. I hate going out and playing my games on the phone. I'm like, I feel like I'm like this when I need to really see something. Yeah. So on the PC is nice or a tablet, right? <laughs> Dykstra, what's up, buddy? That's why you gotta get a big tablet. Look, invest in your in your uh, in your eyesight. I don't know in your enjoyment. Get yourself a big old tablet one day. They are amazing. This has got a big case around it. But instead of playing on your phone when you're chilling on your sofa or you're on the throne or laying in your bed, right here, Dykstra, get yourself a beautiful big tablet. It is, it's almost like playing on the PC because, you know, the same size when you're holding it away from your face. It's like playing on the PC. I got mine like a year ago, year and a half ago. So happy. I was like, hey, I'm going to go buy this $1,000 tablet to my wife. And she's like, what? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I need it. I can't see. I really can't see my phone anymore. I got to get it for work, you know, to play these games and stuff. She's like, okay, I guess if you need it for work. A rally fan? What's going on? Uh, I recently rolled Filto and Herb Hubbard. Yeah, those two are the best. Rally, I'm not a rally fan for rares and for epics. But as far as the legendaries go, legendaries are stacked for rally. If you have Lorenthal, like I have the guy on the little um, stag, and then you got Hubberg, Filto. Like if I had Filto in here, I wouldn't even need Hubberg. Either one, you know. Filto does crazy AOE damage, but not great single target damage. Lorenthal kind of empowers all of them to be able to hit harder. And I have Alton as well. Alton can give them a rally. He's a legendary. Can give them a rally when they need it, when they try to cast a rally ability and they don't have a rally available. He'll give it to them, and then if they do have Rally, he'll give them additional 30% damage or something. So only the legendaries are good in Rally. There's a few epics that are okay, but they really need to go back and, and balance, which I don't think they're going to do. I think they're just going to bring out new heroes. They didn't sound like they wanted to balance. Download the Dragon Ball Z game? Yeah, the new one. Did you see it? Yeah, you saw the new Dragon Ball Z game? It's kind of like a side-scroller. You have your group over here. You fight. Uh, I saw them fighting Frieza. So it had um, Goku, Vegeta was in there. They were fighting just like the first opening scene. They were fighting Frieza, and then when they do their special moves, they go into like this kind of cut scene. You can skip it if you want to. You can see the skip up at the top right. And then you get your whole crew together, kind of like an idol battler with ultimate abilities, but there might be more to it than that. Is it out already, Dykstra? It's on this one gaming site that I'm subscribed to. They don't talk on this gaming site or YouTube channel. They don't talk on it. They just show it's called Mobile Gaming. They just show all the new games that come out. Mystic Saga, Dragon Ball, gameplay, nine hours ago. So I'm assuming it's in the store. Let me know when I download it. Okay, I'll I'll, uh, I'll download it on my tablet. And we'll check it out. I'll play it at night. When I get ready to go to bed, then I won't get any sleep. I'll be busy playing that all night. Yeah, I don't know if it's got any kind of in-depth gameplay. I'm not all about playing it if it's just a complete idle game, kind of. If we're just sitting there waiting for the ultimate to recharge and nothing else is really happening. Which kind of looks like that's what's happening here, but there's battle skills, there's passives in this, there's gear that we collect with variable stats. You know I'm all about collecting that gear. I don't know if they have gear in that game, this new game or not. So we'll have to see. You don't need sleep. Just just play a Dragon Ball game. Filto one shot bosses. Yeah, Filto is extremely strong. I've chased after Filto before, and I had no luck in getting him, unfortunately. Yeah, but you got to have like if you're gonna bring Filto in by himself, he's got to have two targets, so that that battle skill can get him rally for his ultimate. Correct. And then once you can do that, or somebody else to give him rally, once you can do that, he just does a crazy amount of damage. He'll do AoE right here because he does that long laser beam shot. And he can do serious damage on single target as well. Oh, 
a frozen Soren vibe. This one here on the stag. Yeah, they've got some cool mounted units in this. Like some really cool mounted units. Did we get any new mounted units? No, we didn't. The update they just gave us burns, electrocute, and ice blast, ice blast heroes. Yeah, but I'm not a rally uh, spirit fist. I'm really not a rally fan to be honest because they're only legendary exclusive, you know, for them to be good. And I think that's pretty bad. I don't like it when something is only good when you have the appropriate legendaries. El Mister will be, I don't know what he's going to be, but I bet he's going to be probably lightning or fire. I don't know what he's, what he's known for casting in the books. I don't know what his like signature abilities are or what he does a lot. But as a mage, he could be frost, fire, or lightning. He would fall into any of those. He's not going to be Necrosis. It's not like he's a, necrom a necromancer or summoner. So he won't be Necrosis. He won't be Poison. I don't see him going in there and being a Poisoner. I don't think he's like a Poison Mage. So that counts those out. Like he's not going to be Necrosis, Poison. What else do we have? What's the other affinity? To <laughs> the other element we've got. Um, and he won't be Rally. Yeah. So he's got to be one of the three, you know, Major, Frost, Fire, or lightning. You gotta be some of that. Now it'd be really cool if he was two of those. That would be the sweetest thing ever if he was two and we could switch him over like we do the main traveler. He's got a little variation in his skills and then he can go in two different elements. Whenever we need somebody for that, you know, say he's lightning and fire, change him over to lightning, use him there. When we need him in fire, we change him over to fire and use him there. That would be sweet. And if they start coming out with heroes like that, like one hero like that every season, That'd be awesome. You think he's going to be fire? He has a one-shot spell? Yeah, but what's it? what is it like? What's a one-shot spell? You just take somebody out like Beam? Hey, Dykstra, can you farm gear in there? Is this the game? It's called Dragon Dragon Ball Dragon Saga. No, no what's, it, what's it called? It's right here. I'll, I'll give you a link. In Discord. Mystic Saga. Sorry. There, I just sent it to you in Discord. Let's have some fun. Yeah, it's, it's new. Like, if it just came out within the last few days, then it's going to be that one. Fighting. Mystic Saga Dragon Ball. I, I guess that's just what it's called. There's gameplay there. I saw it last night. Yeah, Filto's crazy. I would really like to get Filto. He'd be fun. fun. He makes stuff like this very easy. And he's kind of self-sufficient since, since he can give himself... Rally as long as he's hitting multiple targets with that battle skill and then he would like I wouldn't really need any I wouldn't need Lorenthal in here really I don't need Lorenthal in here right now and I did I, I probably could have I could have put anybody else in here and I'm just lazy I haven't changed this these guys have old gear on they're the same team I used to three star this a long time ago but since I got stronger with my elemental affinity I haven't even bothered changing out anything I'm sure I could take away a lot of these heroes but they work, so I don't bother with it. Okay, I think we've run this enough. Let's run this this last time, and then we'll jump over to Faye really quick and see what's going on with Faye, and then we'll jump back in the pillar and see if we can beat those last final floors with Poison and Lightning. What's the, what's the ultimate that has a high bonus to change elements? Oh, interesting play to change an element between swapping between three man affinity. That'd be weird if it changed. Well, it couldn't change your element, right? It, you couldn't have an ability, in, say like in PvP, that changes the person's element. But you could do it maybe like knock out their five team bonus, I guess. Or nullify. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't really change it. You would just like suppress, suppress their element, right? To where they're no element, I guess. Or you break away their five team bonus. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Is he the enabler giving? Yeah, he is giving everybody. He's giving rally and giving us 40% additional attack to Higio and to Hubbard. He's giving them both 40% additional attack and rally. Although they can give rally to themselves and he can give rally to others. 
but he used to be stronger. They've changed him recently, and I, I, it's kind of like a stealth nerf. I'm not, I'm not for that. It's really like a stealth nerf, what they did to him. They didn't say anything about it, and then all of a sudden they changed his description on his passive, which used to read skills, and skills means battle skill and ultimate, and then all of a sudden they changed it to only his ultimate ability gives rally to someone else, which really drops him a lot. Because you've only got a 75% chance after casting an ultimate skill. This used to read skills, which was your battle skill and your ultimate. It used to do both. Now it only does ultimate, which is really sad. Especially since it's only a 75% chance. Yeah, like I said, they need to do better with their rares and their epics for rally. Really do. Most people get these rally heroes and they don't use them. The rare and the epics. Same thing with summons. Rare and epic summons. You get those. Even the legendary summons. You get those and you just don't even play them. Uh, yeah, they do. They they get... To, yeah, but I don't need it. I don't need it for this Goblin Cave. This Goblin Cave is so easy to beat right now. Now, in the beginning, I probably needed, needed it to get three star or something. But right now, since I'm so much stronger... Oh, that's different than what you're playing? Is yours a brand new one that came out? Or are you playing some older game? What's the title of yours, Dykstra? I think it says Dragon Ball World. Okay, let's go over and see what's going on with Faye. We've taken away all of our stamina. We're good. We did Vortex already. I've got rewards waiting for me. What? We had some kind of arena reset. Rewards available. Maybe the real-time arena? Oh, okay. Yeah, I did my one battle and I didn't go in and collect my rewards yet. Nice. All right, let's get over here to Faye. 145 to 150. Anybody, anybody up this high? All right, I definitely want to get this. We got a legendary scroll. We've got some gear that we can take from epic to legendary. Let's see if our team is still easy as it was yesterday. On Copper Dragon for me, my rally team did 135 million on Copper. Nice. Yeah, yeah. My rally team did a lot of damage on Copper Dragon as well. Yeah. Again, those legendaries really make a difference. If you have them in there, like insane. I just hope they balance. I hope they do something for rally, rare, and epic, and for summons. And what else? What else do we need them to kind of... And poisons. The actual poison debuff. They need to make that poison debuff do more damage. Uh-oh. Oh, man. I didn't save this team as an actual preset. Huh. Who does this have? All right. Let's go to this one. Are they all geared out? Load gear. Now, we don't need to use tomorrow. I was using tomorrow because it's more it's more, uh, more control, right? I've already got a crazy amount of control on this team. It's, it's pretty stupid. But, you know, get some more stuns. You get some more stuns. And block them from getting buffs. We could have Varesh in here instead. Crit rate accuracy. I don't know. These Nest Jenkins are going to be... Yeah, look at them. They're probably going to teleport over and start knocking up my people over here pretty fast. Nah, maybe not. They're not going to have any ultimate. Although it's their battle skill that jumps over. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, on this team, everybody should be so locked up. They haven't even done that. Look, their ultimate their ultimate is just basically depleted every time. They don't ever get a chance to do their ultimate. 
It's glorious. Uh, no, we got to do that next. I walk in the park and fade because enemies can't get their ultimate off. Uh, yeah, yeah, she's awesome too. I don't have her. She is always like the worst person to face against Faye. She's knocking, she's charming us and knocking back our ultimate by 50%. There's not a lot we can do. We just can't come back. We can't come back from that. So that's where a lot of people get stuck on those stages. With Hivatar and her, they get stuck all the time on those stages. But I'm hoping I won't have a problem against her because we can pull her in. As long as we can pull her in and keep her wrapped up, we should be fine. This season. Well, I couldn't do that last season. Now that I've got this legendary tank right here. The spider lady shouldn't be a problem. Even though she's not really classified as a tank. This is an interesting group to fight against. We just run right up to him. <laughs> uh, our guys, he's 170. Nice. Yeah, Sin, we'll jump over there after we do these few floors over here in Fey. We'll go check and see if we can do that. I did level up some new heroes. I've got Shurgul leveled up in Lightning. And then I leveled up the Lizard that can do some healing. Because I don't have Nathaniel. So I just gave us more options, more things to play around with. I don't know what we're really going to do to try to take on that stage, though. I just don't know what we're going to do. We got to get... We can we could switch to high resistance on two people to make sure we can get we can we can do Shurgul, actually. We can see if Shurgul can jump over there and take out Sigrid, maybe, so we don't have to worry about heal block. But like taking out somebody's it still takes time. It's not like they just fall over. You don't you don't just send a backline jumper over there and they just fall over. It it takes a little while to beat them down. So I don't know. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do, but we'll try some stuff out. Going full DPS, but the front line is with the front line survives, but the front line survives. I'm able to kill Arena, but the front line won't survive. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, my front line was doing okay. They they won't survive forever, and especially if we get a heal block, they're not going to survive. So we're gonna have to go high resistance on Hexandra and high resistance on. Like fur bath, high resistance on, or higher resistance on um, Ogok if we want to with his resistance lead. If we got to worry about her for a while, that'd be nice. Or the and all the stuns too, you know. Uh, they do because uh, Iola can't defense down the whole entire wave. Yeah, we'll try that too. We'll, we'll try to take them out in the back line if we can. But what I'm thinking is, even if we bring in a back line jumper, they're still going to get hit with all the AoE. So I don't think they're going to survive. You know? They're going to be kind of heavy on DPS. They're not going to have high survivability. Even if we wanted to put defense runes on them to give them a little more survivability, then they're not going to really do their job that well. I don't know. We'll have to see how we can kind of uh, even it out. <laughs> and maybe... Maybe we can get past that stage without having to worry about the 15% damage reduction. We'll see. But these are easy, right? These floors that would have given me a lot of trouble in Season 1 are... E well, I mean, I've got insane heroes right now. I've even got Tamara in here thrown in here, which is a little overkill. So we've got how many legendaries? Yeah, we've got three legendaries that are just... Massive. What's up with this Gillian? Is she gonna die? <laughs> tanky. So tanky. Alright, looks like a horse. Ergander. Vianfrey. And Sagamir. Hmm. And Tolwar too. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Let's, let's see what kind of provoked we get. Oh, stunned. Everybody stunned almost. It's 
It's like if we staggered them a little bit more back to back fears and stuns, I don't even think they'd get a chance to kind of move much. Especially not now. I think we're lacking in the deeps, right? In the DPS. Our highest damage dealer is Zarloth. I feel like we can go kind of high DPS on Ripkus if we wanted to. With all this control, I don't feel like our anybody's really taking a lot of damage. We could probably go DPS on higher DPS on a couple of these. You thought there was range that knocked everybody back? Yeah, we've got a dwarf, a frost dwarf that can knock everybody to the very back of the screen, knock them up and stun them, and then slow speed them. He's fun. He's a lot of fun. But we don't have that in poison lightning. That's in frost. Are you talking about for the poison lightning pillar? I would like to use somebody like that for the poison lightning pillar. That would that would help. <laughs> yeah. But he's frost though. We can't use him there. I thought he was lightning. No, he's frost. I wish. We do need something, right? We need something in lightning like that to help us out. That would be great. Yeah, this is taking a long time. Oh, we have the 10 times speed. What am I doing? We could have been doing the 10 times speed the whole time. What is going on? Well, this is really good too. So if you have a slow kind of turtle team where you're just going to, you know, you're going to survive. You just 10 times speed it. Hard on the eyes, but you don't really have to watch. I'm watching chat. I'm not trying to watch combat. Combat's going too crazy for me to watch. Gardris? Yeah, yeah. Gardris. That's his name. The Frost Dwarf. Next stage. We got everything. I think I'll just do this stage and then we'll jump over to Pillar. This one's going to give us a little more solvent. I always like going after the solvent. Oh, we got some Filtos. Those Filtos aren't doing anything. I can't tell what's going on. All I can do is look underneath and see their yellow gauge, their ultimate gauge, and it just keeps going down. Easy times. There's a poison goblin that does a pushback. There's the new poison goblin that we get from Faye here that we could level up and try out. I don't have any scrolls for him. And we need scrolls to get him to 100% chance to stun. We can at least see how he works. Let me, let me take him into a target dummy. Because I'm pretty sure his 3x3 three three stun is only from the front of him, from the actual front of his body. It's not something that we can cast in the back line. And then the single target battle skill stun, we can't control that. Like, we can't have it stun somebody that we want to because it's his battle skill. So whoever he's attacking at that moment is the one that he's going to stun with that battle skill. Um, and he gives us a lot of accuracy for Pillar. And we get him from doing 60 floors of Fey, but I don't think he's going to be enough to make it. He, you know, he's melee. <laughs> he's melee. And the, and the big thing is, I mean, like, I don't mind him being melee on that floor because pretty much everybody's being hit by Arena and then the other two guys that are doing their AoE. So it really doesn't matter that he's melee there. But we can't really control what he's doing, so that's going to be an issue. Yeah, we'll see. Mm hmm He is, but in, in that instance, it really wouldn't matter too much if we could control everything and get the stuns, but we're not going to be able to. He's not going to be that effective on that floor that we're on. He'd be okay here, though, because they're all grouped up. Man, this hurts my eyes. Okay, last battle. Last battle, then we're out. We won't see 10 times speed after this.
No. Oh. That Thor in the back was going to use his ultimate. I think he did. Man. I feel like you could have a seizure if you're light sensitive, you know? Are they dead yet? Yeah, Dykstra, are you going to try this new one? Okay. I think we have one more treasure chest to get. Yeah, one more chest to get, and then we're out. There it is. 1,500 solvent. Turn all settings down to minimum. You mean for like the bloom glare effects? When we're doing the 10 times speed. We've got them all jacked up right now. All right, we're going to go over to Pillar. Okay, we've got Arena to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 60, 60, and 56. Can it be done right now without our damage reduction and without all, of, all our additional damage? That additional damage is a lot. It'll to probably help us. Oh, yeah, they got Theodore in here, too. So Theodore is going to do his 3x3 three three stun. Now, we could do Theodore ourselves. That's a good one. We can do Theodore ourselves for a 3x3 three three stun, and not only that, we get an ultimate gauge increase whenever we do a control ability and whenever they do a control ability. This one's really strong. Every three seconds. And these guys are stunning us all the time, so this is going to help out our team do more damage. Whoever has the highest attack on our team, so we can load, we can, we can definitely level up our own Theodore. And I think mine might be, damn, we didn't save any of this stuff. <laughs> My guy might be scrolled out from last season. Eh, I don't know about Theodore. Did we, did we scroll him? He's actually far better than this guy we got for free. <laughs> oh yeah, he's got this passive ability that can do the toxic blast. Let me see how this works. Basic attack triggers toxic ability. Can we stun a target dummy? Can we actually see it stunned? Uh, no, I don't have him scrolled. And he's got the recharge speed penalty. Yeah, Theodore's sweet, man. I've been testing it on uh, plus zero. Without, because only additional levels give us resistance so we get the 25 percent additional healing no matter what we just don't have the additional resistance and the additional enlightenment and hp yeah 25 additional healing is probably pretty pretty nice right slap that bad boy on quarry on and it'll be fine yeah you don't want to waste the resources it costs a lot right we don't have those kind of uh <laughs> we don't have those essences to be playing around with right now let me go and see about this new guy. Poison, where are you at? There you are. I research herbs, but not for healing purposes. <laughs> A new job for the list. Uh, no. He's doing that AOE trigger a lot. Look at that. He's doing that AOE attack a lot. It's wild. Okay, so it is only directly in front of him. Where is <laughs> Theodore's is ranged, right? So we can pick it we can pick anybody we want. Done. Decrease attack too, which is amazing. This guy's passive was triggering a lot. Oh, it just says triggers it. It doesn't even say, okay, so it's doing it every time. Basic attack triggers toxic blast on the enemy dealing 50% additional uh, 50 attack with a chance to do the accurate, the accuracy penalty. This is pretty cool for uh, a stun set because it's not derivative damage. I mean, it's only doing it centered around that one target, so it's hitting anything around it. 
still pretty interesting in a stun set. The one stun, and then here it's for five seconds. I think Theodore's is for what, three? No, five seconds too, right? Stuns for five seconds. Yeah, Theodore is is pretty pretty damn good, man. His passive is no joke. Like this passive is really fun. Fun in arena too. Because right here, reduce the ultimate energy of the enemy with the highest attack by 20%. This effect can only trigger once every three seconds. That's, you know, ultimate increase, ultimate decrease. You can't beat that. And if he, we're going to get controlled, right? Our team's going to be controlled quite a bit there. Do I have the resources to level him up? Urgander? Yeah, we got Urgander. We got Urgander for sure. Well, I don't mind leveling up extra guys as long as I have the resources to do it. You can always go farm. I mean, like, I'll use him somewhere else. You know, I'll, I'll use him somewhere with the recharge speed penalty. He's got two hits to do a recharge speed penalty. So I'm sure we could use him. <laughs> Something. Something. I don't mind leveling up heroes. It's always fun. We're 15 shy. I don't want to use all that gold, though. It doesn't seem like a lot of gold to 300,000, but man, you run out of gold so quick. Uh, does, okay, okay, great. I'll do it. I'll do it. I still don't know if we're going to use him, but why not? Just level everything up. Yeah. And we don't have scrolls for him, so he's not even effective right now. But eventually, this will this will make me want to get scrolls for him. Well, how many how many scrolls do I have in the shop? Seven. Yeah, look at that. He's great in arena. He is good in arena because you get that ultimate increase for your DPS. And then if you get controlled at all, which if you get provoked, knockup should do it. But I was testing this out last season and knockup did not do it. And I was really upset about that. Because a lot of people have Garius on their team. And Garius will do that knockup on his battle skill, which basically really doesn't do anything. But it is a control ability. So... Whoever their max attack person is should be reduced by 20% from Theodore's passive. But for some reason, all other control was working, but a knockup last season was not working, which is BS because it's it's a purple control ability. You can see it. So I don't know what's up with that. Hacks. But maybe maybe it's fixed. Maybe it, maybe it works. Four, eight. Oh man, come on, give it to me to the ultimate. Yeah, all right. Either way, we would have got our additional 25% chance on both, but we got the ultimate down, that's nice. Oh, he's on a 24 second, even with all this on his ultimate? Ah, oh, okay, that's his catch, right? He's strong. Five seconds on the stun, and then 75% chance to do attack penalty two. And it's only a three by three, but it's on a 24 second cooldown instead of instead of 20 seconds. I see you have that tree. Tree dude? Tree dude. Tree dude. Who's the tree dude? This guy? I just did this last night. Just so we can play around with stuff here right now. Yep. Last night I leveled, like I, I looked at all the resources I had to level some stuff up and I just started leveling up poison and lightning that would look interesting if we needed them. Wait, wait, what stage is this? What What's going on? Is it letting me replay level 60? Oh, that's actually really cool. So if I wanted to do a video now, level, I mean, we have it saved from our VOD the other day when we went through here for my video on demand inside Twitch, like I could download it and show people. But anytime I want to try different teams and, and do level 60 here, I can do that on my main account. That's pretty sweet. You can redo any floor you want. You said any of them. 
Really? Oh man, rocket. And you can go back and do any floor of Faye you want. So if somebody's really having a hard time with Faye, I can go back and practice that. That, was it like that last season? Yeah, yeah, it just worked. I went to a lower level. Was it like this last season? You can do this for Faye too? Well, Faye, the, the creatures aren't going to be there in Faye anymore. Like if I run back through Faye, there's no enemies to fight. Like say I go into floor 33. No, I can't do it in Faye. You can on Pillar. It did work on Pillar. Yeah, but there are no enemies to go back and fight here on Faye, and it won't let me go back. I guess I could run back through, down, 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 but there are no enemies, right? They'd be gone. But Pillar, it works. That's pretty nice. So if anybody's stuck somewhere, we can always go back and retry the stage with different heroes. All right, so here's where we're stuck. <laughs> so last night, I leveled up this guy. Stagamuffin? What are we doing with this Stagamuffin? Are we going to come in here and do a diamond-shaped... Like what? I just... If we, if we did this diamond shape on the back row, I don't think he's going to do much. I don't think he's going to do much at all. Now, I did level her up last night. She's another healer where we can get increased defense on the ultimate. We can heal when they're under 50% HP. Whenever we do our ultimates on our team, we get a shield. And then this ability right here doesn't really matter for what we need. But she does have the defense lead. Check that out. 24% defense all battles. That's the strongest defense lead we've had out of anybody except for Ogok's resistance lead, which is which comes in handy. Yeah, yeah, it does. Is there... Were we using Tamar in here before? I think we were using Tamar. And we got Shurgul leveled up too. Shurgul is leveled, and I think he's always had skill. Yeah, he's got scrolls into him. I don't know if we could... <laughs> oh, nobody's... Nobody's got gear on. Where's pillar three? There it is. Pillar three. Uh, I don't trust this gear, but at least it's a start. Our gander's here for decreased attack, but we need survivability. He can do his, his immortality. Immortality here. We need to check this dude's gear. She looks like she's okay. 80. What's that? That looks fine. Uh, okay. And Tamar. So say we take out Tamar and put in Shurgul and try to pop them with Sigrid and Shurgul together. Do you think it would take out Sigrid? And then we'd only have to deal with these two guys. Or Arena maybe even. Enlightenment. Enlightenment. Accuracy. Defense. 363 enlightenment, okay? Let's see what happens. This is the taste of fresh blood. You need to be smart to be Let's see what we can do for this guy to make him strong enough first. If I've got something. That's a low crit. Oh, this is all critical damage gear. That's why. All critical damage gear. Okay, let's go back to Sigrid and give her. Wine, crowds, and apples. I detest them all. She's at 76, so let's get four. Okay, eight's fine. A lot of attack. Seventy-nine percent. Okay, she'll get twenty additional crit rate from the dragon blood. Now Shagul. We just got to put all different gear. This is not going to work. Let's go with attack percentage and crit rate. Yo, can you tell me if you we keep skill scrolls in the inventory? Yeah, you do. 
you keep your skill scrolls, definitely. Yeah, Stromus, I haven't played that tree guy, but I don't think he's going to do exceptionally well here with all the random substats and uh, the additional hit he does. All the the random debuffs he does, I don't think it's going to work out well for us here. Even in a stun set, maybe in a stun set, we can kind of uh, get some stuns and wrap them up a little bit with him. Maybe stag a muffin, we can try him out. Is it doing descending order? I think it should be. Crit rate 12, crit rate 10, crit rate 9. All right, it looks like it is. Critical damage 33 on him. Oh, we've got this artifact. I forgot we got this one melee artifact. Oh, so we can use the gear. We can cheat and use <laughs> Gurst gear on him. But he doesn't have the 20% additional crit rate like Gurth does. Hmm. But if he does smack, if he does hit, he's going to hit kind of hard. This is cheating for a normal account, but but uh, did you book him? No, I didn't book him. I did not book him. I don't think his damage is high. For eight seconds, he's gonna pulse. Oh well, he's got a low. He's got a low reach. Or he's got a really low cooldown on his ultimate, right? So, man, eight seconds for sixteen seconds. We get a half uptime on, and then we could get some more skill haste. Easily get that down a little bit more. So we'd have some pretty good uptime on doing a stun set and then getting random debuffs of attack penalty, recharge speed. But all this isn't going to save us. Attack penalty would be nice. Recharge speed penalty is going to be nice. But really what we need are stuns to happen. And I don't know what kind of stuns we could get off with him. But I don't have any scrolls to test that out. We'd have to test that out on the, on the test server. I got one scroll. And, and, and to be honest, even if I had like eight... I don't want to use it on him. Not yet. Not till we go to the test server and see if he can really, in a stun set, fully scrolled. We put him in a two-piece set each. Get him 40 skill haste here. 20 each. And then we get like one skill haste hit on each of the runes. So it's not too crazy. It's doable for everyone. And then we put him... We'll try him without the hourglass. We'll try him with the incense burner. 10% additional for his ultimate. And then we'll try him with the hourglass. Either one. Both. We'll try it with both and see what kind of uptime we can get with him. Okay, that'd be interesting to test out because so many people have this guy. So many people. Everybody was pulling pulling this dude from the banner and just in general, I think they were pulling him. All right, we're going to go with the attack or since we're trying to get over there and get some attack done really quick. Now, I don't know if Urgander can stay alive. Before we had Furbath and somebody else in here. Okay, I didn't mean to do that there. And I knew it. I knew Shergoy was going to die. I knew his sorry ass was going to jump over there and it wouldn't matter. He's still going to die because there's too much AoE. All right, where is he at? He's here. I want him to jump over on this side. Hmm. Alright, he's going for Arena because she's the lowest HP. And he's already dead. That's fine. Where's Shagul at? Where's his ultimate? Yeah, 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 we got a low. If Shagul could do his ultimate, he'd be... <laughs> He's up there in melee range of the two guys that do the stun, right? Around them. So it's kind of... it's. Uh, let's, try to, let's try to bring them over. Shagul's going to run up and maybe not be in range of their stun. They'll fly over there. He's still going to chase after him. He could have just ran right up. Okay, now he's away from them. That's good. 
Now I just need a tank that can survive, which we can do. All right, there we go. Let's get this up on everyone. Payao. Killer? Killer. Yeah, that'd be cool if he kills her. Okay, now we can jump over to somebody else like this. Decrease attack is up. I think we can kill Theodore, though. I kind of want to kill Sigrid. Theodore's lower. Let's go for Theodore. Nice. Man, he's killing it. I should have done the ultimate there for him. Tragul is doing the job, man. Wow, that's a big difference than yesterday. I don't think we needed Urgander here, though, to be honest. Urgander is way softer than our Fur Bath and our Hexander we had in here doing some work. Cancel that. Uh, all right, we'll provoke. All right, decreased defense is on Nathaniel. Shagul said killing spree. Killing spree. Yeah, I don't like how... I don't like Urgander up here being so soft. And he just died too. Let's bring let's bring Furbath in. Fur, a, a tanky Furbath will do much better. If I start a new account now, I will play on Season 1. Or is it just Season 1 of Season... One server for Season 1 and one server for Season 2. You will start on Season 1. The way they currently have the game set up, you will start on Season 1. And I'm hoping that they change this. This is the biggest gripe I have for this game. That we all can't play on a brand new season together um, when it starts. It would, it would add so much to the game. So I'm hoping eventually they do that for Season 3. And if they were going to do that, they'd need to announce it now. But Or a way for somebody to play the newest season that comes out that makes sense. They'd have to retrofit how the beginning process is, but... They could easily do it. And not even give the option to new players to go into the other seasons. I'm hoping they do something, man. I really am. It, it's it's like the biggest downfall for the game. But yeah, you'll start on season one. Hey, what's going on? Hello, Stu and chat. What's going on, Midnight? How you doing? Where is some tank gear? There we go. Who's got that Urgander and somebody else? Okay, this is Furbath. We're not even going to worry about accuracy on him. He's got he's got decent accuracy, though. We'll, we'll throw an accuracy rune on him. Why not? He's got enough. Why not? We don't want to gimp ourselves. We'll take that decreased attack if he can get it off. Actually, if he can survive long enough, we could put the crown on him. But we'll stick with this. Let's look for some accuracy substats. He's already got it. And he's got it. That's not right. Okay. And this, I assume, has some accuracy. We can do better than that, though. Is that, well, is that my only defensive with accuracy chest piece? Could be. We don't have a lot. Thirty-three. We're not using her right now. All right, he's, he's doing pretty good now. Defense with that oh man, three hits and accuracy there. Beautiful. All right, we'll leave him with the scarab. I guess we'll stick with attack. I can't believe how good Shrigul just came over and whacked these guys. So we got to put our tank to the side, have two of these uh, Naguks run over to our tank. That way Shrigul can then be fighting her once he jumps over with his battle skill. And he'll be away from their little AoE lightning strike, which happens immediately around them for now until they do their ultimate. And then he'll go and have his ultimate. Like he killed her without doing his ultimate, which was beautiful. If we can do that again, if we can repeat, I'll be very happy. Oh, Furbat doesn't have enough to resist that heal block that he just got. Hmm. That sucks. 
Uh, Sigrid died. Our Sigrid died. Where was she? In the corner somewhere? <laughs> okay. The last run was nice. This run isn't as nice. Who else do we have in here? Can we take Sigrid out and put in some more support and just have... Just have Shergul take out that whole back line? I don't see why not. We could bring in some Tamar support, but let's bring in something that's more reasonable. Either... Oh, we could bring in... Vakuk. I don't know what he's got on. Look at Vakuk's gear. <laughs> like a way back in the day gear. We could put him in a stun set. Actually, Vakuk in a stun set is, is really cool. Because this battle skill hits a pretty good area. We're getting accuracy already for it. 3x3. Three three. We can still get stuns. His basic ability can stun, which is really nice. You'd be surprised how often their basic stuns people with the stun set on. And then this will stun people plus decrease attack. We'll have the accuracy for it. And then even if there's a heal block up on Furbath, thing is Vakuk doesn't heal for a lot. Unless there's two debuffs to remove, he really doesn't heal for a lot. And even then, it's not crazy healing. But let's put him in a stun set. A heal set would be nice too. Zarloth's not on this team. Yeah, he's not. If Zarloth was on this team, we'd already be rocking this stage, I'm sure. <laughs> if he was here. What? What is this? Oh, Vakuk. Right, right, right. We could do Crown or... Yeah, Crown's not going to matter because we don't have an ultimate ability. Where's the uh, Incent Burner? Incent Burner? Get back to his heal quicker. Accuracy. Okay. those crit rates either but I'll take it it's nice 308 alright without Without um, Sigrid in here, putting in the damage for Shagul, he's, take, he's taking a long time to take her out. <laughs> taking a long time to take Arena out. Without Sigrid backing up. Sigrid fired off and then got him down low. Arena went out so quick. Shagul's taking a long time to do his ultimate, isn't he? It's 20 seconds. Man, it'd be nice if I could get these four, and then he was over on somebody like Sigrid. Well, I could pull him over to this side. No, he'll be there next to him and get stunned. Man, I really wish I could get all four. Yeah, that heal was weak. Your heal is very weak, buddy. I guess I got to take her out. But this is nowhere near as good with Sigrid. Sigrid was way better in here. Heal block, heal block on our uh, boy. All right, we gotta have, we gotta bring the DPS. What's going on? I think everyone should have to play season one, but then after that they can catch up. There's no reason to play season one. Season one, season one's no different than all other seasons. Once you're at season 12, 13, 14, season one makes no difference. I don't feel like season one brings anything new, and if they, if they make each season have decent story, then you're just playing the newest season with the newest story. I don't think there's any reason to play season one. Uh, at all, really. We'll be on their first day also. Yeah, everyone on the newest server will be on their first day. Whatever server you pick, you can only pick the newer servers. So it'll, it'll be with all people that played the, that are playing the game within the few days that you're, you're playing it, right? Starting when you are. Hmm. But when he heals, he can remove that heal block. Nope. 
That's not gonna work. It's all over Shagul now. That's not gonna work. Oh man, I was about to do his ultimate. Let him, let him do. Let, let him let him get his hit in there. Hit. Oh, he could have killed. Oh man, she just nuked everyone. I think they all did their ultimates and nuked. Resistance. Ninety-four. We could go high resistance on him, and we wouldn't. Even worry about it. if we had our high resistance we don't have to worry about a stun so we can do his battle skill we wouldn't have to worry about heal block that's probably how we should do it huh we don't need to worry about his decreased attack right now let's go with our defense resistance what do we got that piece Okay, he's already got that resistance on. Resistance 22, 25. Defense, resistance, and skill haste. All right, let's go. Give me the good hits. Come on, skill haste and resistance. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Just give me that flat attack instead. There we go. We got some resistance. Oh, wait, wait. This is where we need a resistance. What am I doing? This is... Yeah, there we go. We got resistance and defense. And skill haste. Oh, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. How much money do I have? It's running out quick. Okay, now he's at 360 resistance plus a few more that we've got from our... Elemental affinity, maybe 30 more. And we could always go with an Ogok lead if we need to. I don't know if we're going to need to. If this doesn't work, we'll switch. <laughs> we'll switch to make sure that our uh, Shogul isn't being attacked by this guy. I got a full heal there. He's, he's all the way back. Except that stun interrupted him from doing what he needs to do. Uh, he, couldn't, he couldn't kill her before she does her ultimate, man. When she smacks that ultimate. Plus, nobody even had a debuff on. Alright. Lagook, get over there, buddy. Get away. Get away from my boy. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, we can kill her right now, but I'm surprised he didn't. I hate to waste it. He's too close. He just got killed. Man, everybody got wiped out. We made it through this whole thing one time. I think we had Urgander over here, but we made it through here one time. Uh, we could do attack or attack speed. Who has... She doesn't even have a stun set. I feel like she needs a stun set, but we'll use the increased attack. That's good. Increased attack is nice. Hmm. This stage, I tell you what. Why are you attacking Theodore now? Stay on target, buddy. Stay on target. Shagul, Shagul. Okay. I get it. You want to take him out. That's fine, I guess. Ooh. Did her ultimate not go off from that? Oh, man. Everybody was low. We were doing good, but everybody just got too low.
We need to wrap up Naguk somehow. Tull War, Organder, Naguk, Theodore, Iola on stage 59. Oh, those are the ones you got to fight on stage 59? Yeah, I heard 59 is pretty hard. I heard that that's pretty difficult. Now, if we had our own Theodore in here, we could kind of stun Naguk. I need my decrease. Yeah, but we need that damage. Like if I take out, if I take out our girl here, we need that damage. I guess we could just go more legendary. <laughs> just, just. Less damage though. I don't think this is going to be enough. Even though we're wrapping him up, I don't think this is going to be enough. Especially if we don't put her in a, Excuse me, if we don't put her in a DPS set. Excuse me. Sixteen and crit rate, that's nice. Like if we just have Tamar in here stunning. It might help with these new books, maybe. Stops their ultimate, that's for sure. Okay, decreased defense is still up on her. Oh, he's dead. Dead. Dead and dead. around him right it's immediately around him so these people won't get stunned back here in the back he should jump over right away oh, it won't be any good for you to put him there come on jump buddy is he too close oh he's too close Shagul got stunned. Yeah, Shagul keeps getting stunned. Stupid ass stun. Shrigul gets lit up right there. This will cause Thunder Cleaver. Yeah, it did. It, it, we made it through that first time with all the, the decreased attack with Urgander the whole time, right? Because if we try to do decreased attack, we're not trying to do decreased attack with anybody, actually. We're, we're just trying to... We're not using Iola, utilizing her for decreased attack. We're using her for decreased defense so we can try to kill some of these if we do decrease defense with somebody else i mean we're so limited on options she's only got a one hit ultimate if we take her out and we put ergani in here Young ending hatred i return He's got high resistance for her. The bloodlines betray the clean hollow and barren. We're going to have to go accuracy with him as long as he doesn't get. 
Hey, does he proc this increased attack buff to our team? I wonder if he would. I don't think he would because it's a passive doing decreased attack, but would Urgander keep up 15% increased attack to our team by proccing the decreased attack all the time? I don't think he would. But it says, when the wearer successfully inflicts a debuff, all allies gain 15% attack. Not that I'd put that on him right now, but that sounds pretty interesting if he could do it all the time. Uh, a heal would be pretty cool on him, honestly. Accuracy. Defense with accuracy. Three oh seven already. Okay, so we don't need any special gear. Well, he's got a ton of accuracy. We could go away with the crown as well if we wanted to. Oh, it's too close. It's too close. The ghoul is going to be stunned. And he's going to be dumb and attack a tank instead of the rest of these. Right, jump over there. All right, it's provoked. Worked well. Man, I hate I hate using my ultimate on. Um, I feel like I should wait, but their decreased defense is gonna fall off. Maybe we should take out these boys too. I think he'll jump back over on her. Let's try it. Yeah, he's still attacking her. He just got hit for what? Okay, how did he get for honor? He got hit by Sigrid right then. He didn't have a debuff up on him. And Sigrid popped somebody else over here too, man. Did you see that? She's like, for honor. Plus, she's not supposed to pick her ultimate like that. If, her, if she's firing her basic ability on him, right? When she does her ultimate... She should be targeting him for the ultimate. Not a close by Shurgul. It doesn't have smart AI. Like, we know the game doesn't have smart AI. It doesn't do that. Let me see if he has a debuff on him. Uh, he does have a recharge speed penalty. Okay, so maybe he had a recharge speed penalty on him at that time. Okay, it's possible. It's possible. Let me hit those guys. Let's see what happens if I hit them. I guess that's not great because now she's gonna. Yeah, that was just spreading out damage for no reason. Okay, he's gonna do a three by three. We can't even oh we killed her before she did her ultimate that was pretty cool he's got he's got a debuff on him he got hit by her and man sigrid people die sigrid gets that ultimate increase again oh i tried it on the set on him in fact i use it in vortex my tank has accuracy to apply attack down on battle skill and everyone gets yeah that's right but i'm talking about urgander's passive
you kill Sigurd first. We could kill Sigurd first. We could do it. We could do reverse of this, but he's gonna immediately. The, the problem is he's gonna battle skill over to Arena in the beginning, like this right here in the beginning. He immediately battle skills over to Arena because she's the lowest max HP. So if we have everybody kind of over here, he's gonna get stunned by them. If anybody's immediately around these two guys, they're gonna get stunned. So when we had that, he just got wrapped up. And if we jump now immediately over to Sigrid and try to take her out, the ultimate's not going to take her out, like on his own. Like the ultimate would take him out now because he's low enough, probably. Yeah. But he's got no debuff up now. This is actually better. But Ergander looks like he's having some problems over here. All right, he's safe now. I need, I need your before he gets stunned, Shagul. I need your ultimate. All right, nice. Right, looks like we got lucky this time. I don't know if we should save anything for the next round or not. Let me take everything off auto and one time speed. These guys can still pop off and hurt us, but they're not near their ultimate yet. Shit, they keep getting a stun. Kill that dude right there, man. Just kill him. All right, everybody's full health. <laughs> do not let him do his ultimate. All right. Again, we made it to the next stage. I'm sticking at one time speed. I don't trust anything. Um, Nathaniel. What do they have on him? What is this? What is this? Is this a damage reduction? Silence. Okay, good. All right, I'm going to provoke these three. Resisted in the back. Come on, dude. Check goal kill. All right, this will take a while, so it looks like we can use some of our abilities and then slow play the rest. Yep. All right, as long as everybody's at full life. I don't think these guys, uh, Grover is not going to do enough damage on their ultimate to really hurt us. Uh, if so, we could always provoke or heal if we wanted to. Uh, yeah, Grover didn't do a lot of damage there at all, plus he got stunned. Looks like we can wait. Let's get our ultimates back and see what this last wave's like. Our gainer's knocking back his ultimate gauge, look like, on his battle skill to the Grover. All right, now what's this stage? We never even made it here before. They got their own Urgander, and that girl's a pain in the ass, too. And they got their own Iola with Shook in the back. Get rid of this Iola if we can, but she's tanky as crap, man. I don't know, that's a little premature, but I couldn't see what was going on with Urgander. He was stunned there. He's been stunned for like a, a year, and his ultimate gauge was knocked back. Just give me enough time to get my arena. Yeah, yeah, we got her. We got her. Before she does her ultimate. Kill her, man. Kill her. Our gander's not looking good. Ogox coming. Ogox coming. All right, we got this. We got this one. Everybody's kind of far away from their ultimates, though. It could fall apart. It could fall apart. Come on. Okay, Urgander's down. That killing spree didn't do much, buddy. Is 
They're on Shurgul. Kill that one tank. Yeah, we stunned him. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Shurgul's not looking good. Oh, nice move. Nice move, Shurgul. Even if you die here, it's okay. I think we got enough DPS to take out Urgander, even with him doing his healing, I hope. Yeah, we got enough. Now the sure ghoul's back up like that, we're, we're, we got it made. Later. Oh, finally. Finally, we got this stage. What's up, boss? Yeah, and we didn't have to use too many crazy legendaries. Uh, well, we got two in here. We got Ogok and Urgander. I wish we didn't have to use Urgander. I wish this was, uh, I don't know, somebody else besides Urgander in here. So when, uh, then all we, we used was one legendary. Use what you got, I guess. <laughs> Gotta use what you got. Now remember, you can't get past this later on when you're stronger if you don't have good heroes. I hope you can get past this later on. When we're doing more damage because our affinity is, you know, done out on the side, when we're taking 15% less damage as well. Doing more damage and taking less damage, we might be able to squeak by with a much simpler team is the hope okay now what's going on on these these this is easy till we get to 59 is that what this 58 is going to be easy and then 59 is going to be the hard one let's go to two times speed all right we got corns and dinch who's the front line a couple rats a rat and that other guy I don't know, take your pick. We got Dench and Corrin, so whatever you want to pick, they're all going to apply poisons. Shagul's putting in the damage, that's for sure. All right, let's save our skills. Yeah, I'm kind of happy we passed that at uh, that level, you know? That was a tough level, really. Got some Eli's in the back. Eli was doing some damage there. He tried to on his ultimate. Don't bother trying to. You. Okay, that worked out well. Everybody was in for a bass healing nexus there at the end. All right, who do we got? Should we go after Durango? I don't know what kind of trouble Durango is going to cause here. Oh, Durango immediately went after Shagol. What's up with that? All right, we provoked him off. It. 
Let's go, 10 times speed. Okay, here's the big one. It was super easy. Man, that wasn't super easy at all. What are you talking about? I'm not going to make any video. I'm going to upload the VOD. I have to upload the video to, like, this video of us playing for, you know, two hours plus to my YouTube channel. But, uh, yeah, there won't be any video on it. If people want to watch this long, this long one, they can watch the long one if they want to see it. Because uh, we can go over the test server. No, no, we can go back and fight any floor we want, remember? If there's a floor that's hard, we can go back and fight any floor we want to. So we can go back and still test it out with lesser heroes. We can go back there and take Shergul. Um, we can take Furbath. No, we can take uh, Ed Ergander and Ogak out. And I could try it with different teams without legendaries. Because we can replay these stages, which is really cool. So with stage, I'll know what stage it is. I'll know when I go back to it and, and look at it, what stage it is. But this stage is supposed to be extremely hard. Iola, Theodore, stun, stun, stun again. Nagook, stun. Urgander, provoke with decreased attack. And then Toll War with provoke. Jesus, man. Without Witch's Remains? I don't know, man. Without Witch's Remains? Mm. Other legendary artifacts, yeah, but... <laughs> Without Witch's? You're asking for a lot. You're asking for a lot. I need to be able to do damage on them. Okay, so same setup. We're going to pull these two tanks over. He's going to jump over to Theodore. I, I, I'm guessing Theodore is going to have the lowest HP out of these two. Maybe. Maybe Iola does. But he'll be out of range of Tor and this guy provoking. But Tor is going to provoke. So let's bring the Gook back. Or Ogok back. Uh, he went to Iola. Oh, we're on 10 times speed. Not good. Could you stop attacking uh, Theodore? I don't care about Theodore as much as Iola. Could you just uh, could you could you stay on target, man? Stay on target, please. Okay. I get it. You oh, oh okay. You want to attack Theodore for a while, and then you want to jump over and hit Iola because she's lowest max HP. The AI for backline jumpers on offense is different than defense. It's very infuriating. It's really stupid. Really silly, silly. Okay, attack. Too bad we can't use food. Why can't we use food and pillars? I feel like it's justified to be able to use food and pillar, right? I mean, we make all that food. We've got some cool stuff. We're only talking about like a little bit more accuracy, a little bit more res resistance, defense, attack. You know, it's not even a huge some food would be good right now okay let's switch places here now is everybody going on i think everybody was on urgander before on the side that's why yeah they're all attacking urgander let's move it over a little bit so that they both take some hits as long as they're far enough away from messing with Shagul. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of space. Jump back. Okay, since he wants to stay on Theodore so much, we'll just take down Theodore first, I guess. At least try to. Yeah, he's almost dead. Iola already did her ultimate, so that's good. Oh, what? Oh, he got provoked. He got provoked. I saw it. You saw it? Shergul got, uh, I guess it was a, it was probably Urgander. I can't believe it was a mushroom from that far away. Because when I play Tall War, his mushroom doesn't provoke that far away. Uh, he wasn't being provoked. Are you talking about stunned? Or mushroomed? Are you talking about mushroom? Okay, that didn't that didn't change their that didn't move these guys forward anymore. Yeah, he's not being provoked by that shroom. But we didn't really need to do that right then, I don't think. Ogox ultimate. I feel like we could have waited a little bit. Did 
Did Urganer just try to provoke a mushroom? No, he got he got what he needed. Okay, I think we got this. If I can take out Iola, we got it. No problem. We got her. We got her. Come on. Come on. Easy times. Unless your ghoul dies from some random crap. Alright, the dude stunned Nexus was out <laughs> and stunned everybody. I've only got a split second whenever I get a chance to use Shagul's ability. Alright, who's going down first? This guy? Yeah, get those stuns out of here. All right, Shagul's ultimate's kind of low. He's been pushed back quite a bit. So let's wait to use Iola's ability. We could probably just kill him. Eat, we just not even doing anything. We just kill him with our basic abilities. Yeah, it looks like it's fine. Oh, they're kind of tanky. It'll take a while to take down Urgander. Let's do this. Yeah, they're really tanky. All right, come on. Abilities come back. Let's go. Don't kill him yet. Was that the hardest wave we had on that one? Or is this one hard? Bakuk, whatever dwarf uh, goblin that is in the back. Malik, is that Malik up there? Hmm. I'd rather take down Bakuk, but I guess it's got to be this guy. Wrapped up. Man, we can't land decrease defense on the Kook to save anything. All right, second wave is, is usually never the hardest, although everybody's dying right now. Everybody was taking damage from something. Our two front tanks just went down quick. Did Grover just try to trick us? He's like, hey, what's that over there? Did you hear little boy Grover? He's trying to pull a, you know, look behind you kind of move on you. Oh, because he's visible right now. Okay, everybody stay up on life. Let's go. Oh, why is my boy why is my boy dying in the back? Somebody get a heal. What was he what was he dying from? What? There was nothing attacking him. There was nothing out on the board. Who could put down a puddle of damage dealing something? We need him for Zephy. We need him for Zephy in this fight. What was out there pulsing? I wasn't gonna heal him because there was you know. Grover was attacking whoever Grover was attacking. Does Malik leave something on the ground? 
All I saw was the healing nexus from um he had no poison he had no debuff on him at all. I feel like we just got really cheated. Very, very cheated. But with Nathaniel without our DPS with Nathaniel and uh Zephy here, <laughs> we're not gonna be doing anything. So we can't interrupt Zephy. Zephy was casting, but we we, we uh, stunned him. Still, the ultimate gauge was maxed out after. Like, he had no ultimate. We stunned him because he was in the middle of casting. We had, a, like, a little bit of yellow into the next. And then we stunned him, and it showed a whole bar again. I don't know. I don't know. Even with, even with Shagul in here, this, that's going to be a really hard stage. Like, a really hard one. Got cheated on that second wave though. Stop studying my voice. This will cost. Okay, we didn't take him down. Last time we took him down right away. Yeah, we got to take him down right away. Bamboozled. I don't know what it was. I'd like to go back and look through the recording, but I didn't see a debuff on him, and I didn't see all that was out there was Grover, and I saw a healing nexus from Furbath on the ground, and that was it. Grover was facing away from... Obviously, he was attacking Urgander the whole entire time, Grover, and there was nothing There was nothing on the board. Very weird. Okay, more crits it looks like. Okay, nice crit on that one. And he's silenced and getting shot up. Taking too long. Taking too long to kill Theodore this time. Are we at 100% chance to crit? I don't think we are. I think we're at 80% chance to crit, right? Yeah, 80. Get some RNG in there. Okay, a lot of crits there and then that crit nice and then he just got stunned those guys are too close is somebody too close to stun him I'm not sure what's really hitting him now I thought we were pulling everybody back far enough that we weren't worried about I hate I don't like it when it does this <laughs> where is everybody there they are we're too close to Nagook I guess All right, come on. Shagul, heal him back. Stun, 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 everybody. Shagul would be much better off if he was near the healing nexus like before. Okay, he's full. Should be good now. <clears throat> He's going to do his ultimate though Unless Urgander knocks back his gauge No, oh, you got stunned Okay <laughs> Alright Now this easy stage What the hell Happened before Resisted again, man This, this Vakuk must have crazy high resistance He's resisted every time we've tried to. What the shit? They just tried to kill him. Urgander was going down so quick. 
Yeah. Okay. That guy's just got crazy resistance right now. I don't know. I'm feeling. Look, Urgander's gonna die again. He's dead. Hmm. We didn't have that problem before. I completed it with a similar comp, but I used Urgander, Furbath, Iola, Cypherus, and Sigrid. No legendary artifacts. Nice. You had Cypherus. So if anybody died, like we just had a couple people die like that, we could bring them back. Plus, we got increased defense. Plus, Cypherus does amazing heals. And then you just use Sigrid. The cigarette is your DPS. Decrease attack, decrease attack, decrease attack. Plenty of debuffs for Sigrid to pop off. You've got Iola from decreased defense. More debuffs for Sigrid. So the only thing you're taking out. So you'd be taking out Ogak and putting in Cypherus. And then instead of him, you'd be bringing in. Let's see this video. How did he die? Did you see how he died? Yeah, it was like he had thorns on, right? Yeah, why? It was like he had thorns on, correct? Like, we're hitting him, and he's doing damage back to us when we hit him. Check it out. We still shouldn't have died. No, we shouldn't have died. There's no reason. Did you see why we should die? <laughs> on that video clip there? I don't see any reason why we should have died. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who does some kind of uh, leftover lingering effect or uh, he definitely didn't have any kind of like thorns on or anything like that. Very weird. Yeah, I would like Sigrid in here. I think Sigrid does, would do more damage than Shagul and we'd have plenty of debuffs up to, to make it work. I think it'd be better. Because then when I'm doing AoE decreased defense, it's not just Shagul. I mean, Shagul's back there though to do his battle skill. And to do his basic attack, stay on him, right? Con consistent, consistent damage. With Sigrid, I got to wait for her ultimate to come up every time. Let me see on this fight if I can bring them back even further. Just to make this fight faster. Now if I bring them, he'll probably get provoked by the mushroom. Uh, he might get Ogok with the mushroom. Oh, that's interesting. Look at this. He went. He went immediately on Iola this time instead of Theodore. Very different. This. Look at this. So weird. What's happening? Dude, the Theodore is right there. Why would you walk? Why would you walk back? Theodore is right there. Maybe because he's on this long side. I guess he did. He goes up. He goes. He goes right up the side. Well, no, no. He's using his battle skill to get to her. Look, he's using his battle skill to get to her. And it's supposed to be the lowest HP. And Theodore immediately changes targets and starts honing him with some battle skill attacks. <laughs> Oh, kill her. Kill her with your normal attacks. Yeah, yeah. Now you take this. No, no, no. There. Stay on it. Stay on it. Okay, this looks faster. This looks much faster. I still have no idea what we're going to do on on wave three, though. You really have no idea why he died? I have no idea why he died either. 
looking back through that video, he shouldn't have died. I think it just cheated us. <laughs> really, really cheated us there. Hey, man, stop attacking mushrooms. What's wrong with you? Use your eyes. You know that mushroom's not... I mean, he looks... Toll War looks like a mushroom. I get it. You can't tell. Oh crap, he did the thunder cleaver. Come on. Back in shrooms. This is really annoying though, right? All these stuns. All these stuns and provokes. All right, he's out. Okay, Soul Wars down. This wave's easy. This, this is this. I feel like this is easier than the wave that we fought on fifty-seven. I feel like fifty-seven's wave was much, much harder. You know what? Should I just ignore these dudes in the back? Okay, Vakuk's not going to heal for a minute. Why aren't you attacking the lowest HP person? Yeah, that guy, that guy. Kill him Kill him before Vakuk gets a chance to do it. Or don't. You know, whatever. So what are we getting stunned by so often? Oh, Shagul died again. What are we getting stunned by so often? This guy is a defensive based. He's lightning, right? He's just defensive based rare that does like a ball that bounces based off of defense. Is this Grover like a super Grover? <laughs> I don't get why we're dying sometimes here. On wave two, man. Wave two should not be difficult. Theodore does hit a random target. He does hit a random target. It says right here, two eras, enemies, uh, but it's like a random target. I don't know if it's close. Maybe this program to be closest because we had issues with Theodore using his battle skill on a, a mushroom that wasn't provoking, but it was closer to him on Toll War, the chief challenge, right? We were using Theodore in there and he wasn't putting the recharge speed penalty on the boss, even when the mushroom wasn't provoking him. It was just out there, like really far away from him. He was using that battle skill, which was really annoying. Because it should be hitting the boss for us, because that's who he's doing basic attack to. Like, Sigrid would never do her... Sigrid's going to attack whoever she's attacking, and then her battle skill is always going to do heal block on whoever she's attacking. But with Theodore, it's weird. He will attack... I don't know what he's programmed to attack. I guess the closest to what it seems like it's going to do. Maybe I need to take out Theodore first. I think Urgander's going to run to... Yeah. This is so weird. Dude. Theo's tagging him. Oh, we could have got the mushroom with that. We could have got Tall War as well. Decrease 
defense. Stay on him. Heed the truth. I was even pushing that button. Maybe I should have them on full auto. Except for those two. Right? Yeah. Full auto except for these two. How about you forget about accuracy on Urgander and give him proper survivability or make Tamar instead of uh, Urgander? Uh, proper survivability? He has proper survivability. He just got accuracy substats. What do you mean? He's got all defense. Like, proper survivability for sure. out okay, it should it should go down like this every time now full auto on all these on those three and then i just manual these two uh 2.8k defense 2.2800 defense he'll have more than that he's got defense percentage gloves and chest defense rune on the left side and then uh, accuracy on the right side and then whatever we got for his artifact. I can't remember what we're using for his artifact. Okay. Easy times, wave one. I don't know about wave two. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what's going on with wave two. save all these abilities let's wait now all right this wave two is actually not difficult but i'd really like to get on to wave three so i can see what's going to happen on wave three like we don't even have an idea of how it's going to go with zephy like we've seen wave three now zephy nathaniel there was another really powerful one in there too with them zephy nathaniel there was something in the front line that looked pretty scary i can't remember what it was but it looked damn scary Might have done that too early. I'm going to take out this little cheater right here. I don't know what he's doing, but he's a cheater and he's gone. That little cheater Grover can just get out of here. Yo, what's going on? Q, how is your day going? Growing more facial hair? hair? Yeah. <laughs> Against my wife's wishes, we are. Just for the winter time, you know? Should I go after Zephy? Do you think we'll even stay on Zephy if we go after him? Or her? Look at that. No damage, bro. What was that about? Like, Zephy took nothing. I don't like this. Okay, Shook's taking damage. Heed 
Okay, nice. One down. Doesn't mean we're in the clear, though. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nathaniel just took a crap ton of damage. Okay, we got this. I hope. I hope. I don't think they have any real damage on those two frontliners, so we're okay. I feel like we're going to be all right. Even though we didn't need to provoke Zephy right then. Zephy wasn't even prepared to do anything. Oh, we're running out of time? Son of a bitch! What are we supposed to do about that? What are we supposed to do about running out of time? I mean, if you play on two times speed or one time speed, the time doesn't matter, right? The time stays consistent. We have five minutes. What am I supposed to do about running out of time? Are you kidding me? More DPS. Yeah, but I got, I got to stay alive, man. I got to stay alive, too. We could definitely go Sigrid. We could go Sig and um, try to do more AoE damage, but then we're, we're waiting for her ultimate to get back, right? We're always waiting for her ultimate to come back to us. We have Theodore and Sigrid. Hmm. Iola, Sigrid... Damn, man. It's crazy. That really is crazy. Say we put Sig with the same kind of gear we have on Shurgul right now. Right? We don't worry about her debuffs. We just worry about her doing damage. Or she's got she's got gear on her right now. Critical damage? Yeah, she's already geared out. All right, say we do that. Let's just see what happens with Sig. Although, I think she's going to be too close. We don't need to bring these guys this far forward anymore. If we're not doing Shogul, we don't need to bring them away from the back line. Hmm, we just got stunned like crazy from their Iola and we just got beat down. <laughs> just got beat down. Uh, speed haste? Speed haste to kill faster on my DPS? Or who are you talking about? One times, two times? Yeah, it doesn't matter on the clock, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. If we can't take down Iola and Theodore like we were doing before, he's going to do two. He's going to do a two by two, though. 2x2 two two Theodore is going to be here. Diamond is going to be here. So it shouldn't hit the back row. None of these should hit the back row. They should all be hitting our two tanks. Which is probably going to be too much damage for them to take. The 170,000. That's a nice That's a nice hit back there on Iola, but... He just got his ultimate gauge. Oh, man. Look at that. Ultimate gauge knocked back twice. Sigurd has been knocked back. So, look, Sigurd keeps getting her ultimate gauge knocked back. By what? Who is she hitting this doing that? That cost us a lot, man. Our ultimate gauge is being knocked back crazy. Is Malik doing that? Oh, Theodore's doing that. Theodore's doing that whenever they get controlled. Um, so we need to make sure Urganer doesn't provoke. Anybody in a stun set? Uh, Theodore's doing that whenever, whenever she is stunning everybody too. Every three seconds, Theodore's knocking back her ultimate. That's right. Hmm. We're stunning, he's knocking back three seconds later. Provoking, knocking back. Isn't that a B? 
That's why. Now, if we had Iola at the highest attack, he'd just knock her back. Be better than Sig, I guess. Be nice if we could take out Theodore. Get one more pop on him. Uh, there's that part. There's that part where uh, he gets hit by like three moves in a row. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try for a bath in place there. Damage from Sigrid, but Urgander is just getting ass beat down with them all attacking. I think it has to do with yeah, he's got almost four thousand defense. This little bastard stunning all the time. But we'd rather have decreased attack on. I guess we're getting decreased attack on half the field. Oh, he's away from his healing nexus, though. Even though he's away from the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who hit him with that? Oh, that's right, because it's not a... Th the three the three by three is not Urgander, and they're too far away. So he's hitting... These two. I mean, this is splitting them up as much as we can split them up. He's only going to stun immediately around him, the gook. So that means his healing nexus is still going to go off more often. He's going to knock back his ultimate gauge, though, here. But we put him in high resistance. Yeah, 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 we did, we did, we did. So maybe we can resist the ultimate knockback and the provoke. Defense, defense, defense. He's got well over 4,000 defense. Let's see if we can resist the knockback. Just keep his healing nexus going up. Uh, the ultimate knockback actually doesn't matter because we're not doing decrease attacks on anybody. That we're worried about. This will cause. Heed the truth. I still, I think these three are getting tagged. Hmm. She got hers back sooner. One, three, whole row. Yeah, one, three, whole row, three. Okay, so they're tagging all those. It was better with Shagrul, right? They're also low. Look, Urgander's about to go down. Alright, we just got saved there for a minute. Oh, almost. Oh, using the hand, using the hand, cheating with the hand. I used it. Get out of here. Get out of here, dwarf. We didn't have heal block on. We're not using any kind of accuracy on Sigurd right then. So if we had to rely on heal block later on, we're going to be in trouble. 
Okay, Grover's in that. Man, I don't know. The resistance on this stage is nuts. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have provoked that, huh? Now they're all on Org Organder. See, Sigrid died from, I guess, this dwarf throwing a defensive ball and it bouncing around and hitting us. I don't understand why Sigrid would die back there. That's the only person they've got with range. It's the only person we could reach, Sig, is that defensive rare. Throwing his little bouncy battle skill to hit her. And she just, like, fell over out of nowhere. Let's see if we can get through this as quick this time. Or probably die. <laughs> probably die. I think it was a kind of a fluke we made it through last time. Maybe. We could have hit Urgander too. Yeah, see, that's what's costing Urgander. He's provoking everybody. It was split damage, but then Urgander is like, nope, let's bring everybody on to me. And I think this is costing him too much damage. Okay, back line went down easy again. Okay, that's faster. It's definitely, if we can get to the last stage, that this is all faster kill for this round, for sure. Much faster, right? Well, we need to make it faster. Okay, that was definitely faster than when we did it with Shagul. Now here, though, these punk asses. Like, their resistance must be like 500. I don't know what they did to this stage, but they they increased it so incredibly much, it's, it's pretty wild. Right, nice hits back there, but he's going to remove those. So I don't want to necessarily do Urgander's Provoke if I don't have to. Oh, if I can do his Provoke, I can just Provoke to the side so he's not provoking so many. Or to the back. Do that. That way we don't have so many on him. He should be fine now. Come on, Sigrid. I need you. Herbath is taking some hits. Yeah, look at her. Look at her. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this bolt right now. Look at that. What is that guy doing? Dude needs to get off my girl. I think somebody just died on my team. No? Can I get a heal in here? Can I get a heal? All right, I'm going to use this. All right, get a heal. Okay, we don't have a lot of skills ready to go, though. We've got a lot more time, I think, maybe. Same thing with his provoke. I don't think I wanted to do that provoke like that. Now, since we're not heal blocking, I don't think this is going to be as good as Shrugul on him. That's a pretty good hit. Sigrid's lighting it up. Zephy's buff up. Come on, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Shit. Alright, I need you. I need you, Sig. We didn't take out. We didn't take out Nathaniel. I think we still have it. Yep. 
Sigrid for the win. Always Sigrid for the win. You don't need no epic Shragul. You just bring in a rare. You got it made. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We want to win, though. A minute and 20 seconds left. So much easier. Uh, I don't think he does. I think that rare just attacks like a uh, ball attack that bounces. So it hits everybody. I'm not sure if he attacks just a... I'm pretty sure it was this rare here that does damage based off a of defense. Fizzle? I think that's who it was. See right here it says he does damage or lightning damage to an enemy. But it has nothing to do with the highest attack enemy. And this is the bouncing ball. Cast the lightning chain that bounces between. I'm sure this is what he was hitting us with. But his defense his defense is high, though, right? It, everything's inflated because we're at higher floors. So maybe his defense is so high, and the game developers don't realize that he's doing damage based off of so much defense, and it's hitting pretty hard. I mean, it didn't one-shot her, so it's okay. All right, what do we do against this boss? I guess we'll keep the same team. Is this boss going to be extremely difficult? Alright, everybody's got a debuff. Hmm. Furbath is taking a lot of damage. I think I can provoke them over to Urgander, and then we've got enough time to take people down. Oh, Urgander's taking a lot of damage right now. I don't remember this boss. It's been a while since we did stage 50. At least a few days, and I'm not sure exactly. As long as we get enough healing in here, we'll be alright against the boss, I guess. Are they still moving? No, they're set right there. Let's see. One, two, three, three. Mm. Heed the truth. Okay, boss time. Let's go, boss. Don't be too difficult. I think the bosses were pretty easy, right? It depends. Their AoE ability, if we don't have decreased attack up, and they do quite a few of them, if we don't have decreased attack up, it can really wreck us. Fur bath is kind of low right now. This provoke isn't going to do anything. So forgive him that invincibility. Uh, I guess we didn't have decreased... No, we did have decreased attack up. Okay. I think if we don't have it up, though, we're going to get hit too hard. All right, luckily, we've got our guy spaced out enough that their diamond-shaped attack is only hitting our two tanks, which is great. Looks like it should be fine to put it on full auto, probably. Okay, not too bad. 
Not too bad at all. We got ourselves an artifact. <laughs> I say that and we, then we get wiped. <laughs> Easy peasy. Then all of a sudden he just does like a big AOE and we get wiped out. Dead. Yeah, luckily he's doing that diamond shaped attack on our... We have it set up properly for our formation. Or three by three, whatever it is, square, square diamond, whatever that attack is. At least it's on our tank. And the whole screen wide attack is how much damage this one. I could see it taking out Sigrid. If we didn't have decreased attack up, I could see that kind of nuking Sigrid if she was down a little bit. Like right now, I'd probably one shot her on that second ability that hits everyone. The first and third ability, we're not too worried. We're not worried about that at all. It's not even hurting our tanks. But this one coming up, this could take out Sig. Yeah, for sure. It's doing half life right now with decreased attack. That would one shot. Absolutely one shot. So this boss is not a walk in the park. This boss is still very hard. But you just got to make sure you time that. Well, I, I say it's hard, but we don't need 100% uptime on decreased attack. We just need it up during that second ability. That's it for this. For the team. The other two hits, no big deal. I think your tank should be tanky enough to be able to take it. But we had it easier than others because we're getting decreased attack up a lot with our gander against that boss. It was pretty much looked like it was up 100% of the time. <laughs> Alright. Nice. Enlightenment, HP, 25% additional healing, and we get 50 resistance right away. That's still, yeah, that's pretty good for a level 1 artifact. We're getting 25% additional healing, 50 resistance. Only thing we're missing is that additional enlightenment. But not a bad artifact to use at level 1 at all, right? I guess that's it. The pillar is done. How many days are we in? Mm, 41 days till season reset, so we are what? How many days are we in here? How many days total would it be? 90? So 50, we're almost 50 days in, and we beat it already. That's, that's pretty nice. We're at rank 73, whatever that gets us over here for scrolls. Yeah, as long as we're in the top... As long as we're in the top 20%, we're good. We're in the top 20%, that's fine. And then now we still have to push a little bit further in Fey. We're at 148 of 150. So we're staying on top of this. And we've got a great team for Fey. I don't see us really having an issue for Fey going all the way up to 180. I, I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be that difficult. Regardless, we'll be able to pull people in. We'll be able to lock them up. Even if there's the Mermaid or Hivitar which are the only two ones we really ever have to worry about too much. Sometimes you'll have those teams that are just all single target damage dealers, really fast single target damage with maybe a Velius, other Dauntless, or you'll have a couple uh, Floras with some Wild, but even though those aren't hard at all, especially the Wild ones. The Wild ones aren't as hard as... We've had a couple burn ones that do a lot of burns and then have the two exclusives, like two of the exclusives blowing up the whole entire board. That might be a little difficult for some teams, but I think we could tank, tank that out. That's going to be easy. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have problems here going up through this. Congrats, man. Appreciate that. Yeah, let's go over here and let me see what it's, uh, let's see what it is. So if we wanted to level it up, it would take... 16,000. Wow. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. But that is a nice amount of enlightenment. Like a really nice amount. Plus all that additional healing. Who would we use this on the most? I mean, I got a lot of healers that do, that do healing based off of enlightenment. Quite a lot. We got her. Can we look at just heal classes? Is there, is there like a, here it is, healing. All right, so 
we use the crown on him, right? It's going to be the best because we increase his shields. Like, no matter what, even though this is good, we always use the crown on him for his shields, even though he's doing healing based off the shields already applied. It actually would do nice. If you don't have this staff, I think it would do okay on him for 25%. No, we got no defense, and the enlightenment's going to do nothing for him. So I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be good. We'd, we'd, we'd be better off with high defense. Although, you could use this on Garius at level 1. It's going to make no difference at level 1 or level... 20 for him. It's just going to be extra healing. I could definitely use it on Mithrasy because it'd be awesome on her with that extra resistance. Mm, all that enlightenment plus healing. Uh, we could, especially if they have if they do something to make, uh, to make Rose better. It would actually be pretty cool on Rose with all that enlightenment for her heals, damage, and the HP big deal. And the resistance is fine too. It'd be fine on her. Sagamir, no, it's not going to... I don't think it's going to affect Sagamir's recovery over time. Not that we need it on him. Any healer? It depends. Not all healers are based off of enlightenment. He's based off of enlightenment. He's based off of attack. She's based off of enlightenment. So Thea would be really cool on Thea. It's not going to do anything on Ver... Uh, yeah. Vakuk, it's going to increase his healing. But the enlightenment part's not going to do anything. Huh. 25% additional healing on Furbass Healing Nexus. It's a pretty strong healing nexus. But, unfortunately, it doesn't have defense. I really wish that HP was defense. Man, if that HP was flat defense, I'm talking like an OP artifact then for a lot of people. I would much rather have flat defense to mitigate damage and to make it work for people like this than that HP. That HP is pretty garbage. It'd be good on Hexandra. But we don't need enlightenment, but only on our battle skill. It'd be good on her. It would, because this battle skill actually does a lot. Won't mess with that. Ah, oh, Estella. It'd be really good on Estella, but... <laughs> Too bad she doesn't heal herself. I wonder if, they would... I wonder if that 25% additional healing is going to make the healing set do more. Healing. It should, right? I mean, it should, but sometimes things don't always work. Especially from sets. My fate is all for the Dragon Queen! Devoting my life to the Dragon Queen. No, no, no. We need to do it with just this. Let me do it with just this first. It's 15% of our max HP, so we should know the amount. We could do the maths and know the amount. Thirteen thousand three hundred and seventy-one. based off of her max HP and her max HP is going to go up with that artifact actually it's going to go down with 13,371 it's going to go down because this artifact we have on right now has quite a bit of HP it's 18% she's at total 89,000 85,000 let's get her back up to 89,000 well, I think that's going to be hard to do. Uh, I think that's going to be really hard to do. We've already got a lot of HP. Eighty-seven thousand. We're almost there. She's res is that resistance? No, it's HP. Stop lying to me. That would do it. Devoting my life. All right, so she healed before for 13,000. 
from the set piece, 13,300. This will be a little bit more. This will be um, like 13,500. But if it's way more than 13,500, yep, it increases it. The item is amazing. Yeah, but it works on the gear set piece too. For someone who has heal over time, but huge chunky heal. Um, does it work on heal over time though? Yeah, yeah, so it works. We can tell it works on on her on your gear set too, so that's really nice. It should work on heal over time though. It will. It'll work on heal over time. You know why I know it'll work on heal over time? Because although heal over time isn't as good if your people don't have good HP pools, right? That's the problem with, with HOTS, is that it's going off the max HP of the person that it's on. But it will increase it, because I know I know this artifact increases heal over time. This one does. Any of them like this increases heal over time. So it will give people more healing. It's not a lot? Uh, you're talking about per tick? Yeah, that added up to a lot per tick, for sure. And Zarloth have different heals? Uh, what do you mean? I'm talking about regions. I'm talking about stuff like um, what's her name, Megan, and uh, Inna. Those heal over time. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about that, and it works on those, and it works, it works on all healing. It's gonna work on Furbass, Healing Nexus. It's gonna work on Zarlos. I don't know if it's gonna work on Zarlos heal. It should. It's healing. I mean, basically, I think any healing it's working on. So 25% additional healing. Putting on an artifact that increases your healing by 25 without it being leveled, I think is really strong. And you still get 50 resistance. I think that's pretty sweet. Devoting my life to the Dragon Queen. And this would make her heals like insane. For other people. I must undergo further ordeals. I mean, we're doing 25% of her max HP. HP, 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 H. She's got a 90, so 100,000. 100,000 would be 20,000 heals plus 25% more is what? 4,500 more? Is that right? Are we talking almost 25,000 heals? 25,000 in healing from her every time in her battle skill? 25,000 heals to your whole entire team on a... 9.7 second interval. It's pretty sweet. Problem is keeping her alive. Now she will kind of, she'll, she'll kind of, like as long as she's not being hit, she's okay. <laughs> if she's not being hit, she'll kind of keep herself alive even when she gets really low. But you do want to, you want another healer. Like you want a backup healer in there with her. Oh, let me put somebody else in here with so I can see their, their health. And then I can see how low she's going to get. She shouldn't kill herself, though. She should just get really super low. When I played her before and I had her going for a long time, she just got really low, healed herself back with this gear, and did not kill herself. But if anybody tapped her, she'd be dead. Now, he'll kill himself too. Jorn? We placed him against a target dummy before for a five minute fight to see his damage just by himself and he killed himself. It was pretty funny. Okay, she's gonna heal herself by 18,000 with that artifact on. She's healing him for almost 30,000. 29,000. 900 and something. It's 30,000. She's healing him for 30,000 every 10 seconds. Board wide. Your whole entire team. And increased defense. That's pretty damn sweet. Increased defense. I wish she could keep herself topped off with this artifact set, though. It's a shame she can't. She just doesn't do her ultimate, you know, she does her battle skill too often. Her ultimate, not enough to gain back enough life. My flesh and blood. It's 
weird that she's taking so much damage on her ultimate. She's not healing from the ultimate. I thought she only took damage when she did her battle skill. She's taking an absurd amount of health when she does her ultimate and not even reviving. It'd be nice if she didn't take that damage if she didn't revive anybody. But she's an epic, right? She's still a, a, a powerful epic. They should bring a legendary version of her that is basically the same, but doesn't take damage when she does her ultimate if you don't revive anybody. I think she'll stay at this health now. And 29,000 is really nice. Yeah, she'll stay here. I think it's a percentage based off of her current HP, not her max HP. So she will not drop below this. With that set on, it'll be enough to keep her right here. Yep. 16k times on a tank? 80k? Nice. I don't have Torrin. I wish, man. Sasha, Torrin would be a nice pull. Plus, you're so limited for things like great healers, great support right now for those elements. I would love to hit pull him. Yeah. He's nice. All right, guys. That's it. Two hours, 40 minute stream. We accomplished what we wanted to. I think this artifact is really nice. I hope everybody can get the artifact. Let me know where you're at. When you're on stream, when I'm on stream, let me know or tell me in Discord where you're having a hard time moving up in pillar and we'll do some videos. And then if we're on stream, we'll just go back to that stage. We can go to that stage, which makes it really cool. So if you're having an issue with it, We'll go to that stage with the same heroes that you currently have, and then you can tell me what else you have in your roster. I'll level it up on the test server even, and then we can blow through it. What I need to do is go to the test server and make a really strong team and just keep going through. That way we can catch up to where I'm at right now. Because I can't really level up. On my on my account, right? I can't really go back and level up any hero. I probably could. I probably could. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even mind doing it, honestly. All I got to do is run Goblin, get some... Uh, you know, it's no big deal. You're still going. You better get to it, man. It's not open yet. Yeah. We should do a video just saying how cool this artifact is. And if you can push, then you should push. And you should push now, not wait to the end of the season. I did that last season and it gets really boring. If you do it kind of on a daily or every other day and try to like move forward as you get stronger, it's much better. If you wait to the very end, well, now that we have that 10 times speed, it does make it pretty easy. So if you do at least once a week, right? Every week, get a little stronger. Go back in there. Put your new gear on that you've got. Use your new artifacts that you have leveled up. You've used your, your elemental advantage. You've put that out a little further. So you're either getting more accuracy, more resistance, more attack, all that kind of stuff, right? So go in there once a week and then just use that 10 times speed and try to get past the stages really quickly. I think, uh, I think it's worth it. A horn artifact? A horn artifact. A horn that does additional damage? I mean, one's for healing and one's for doing like damage for your team. So 15% additional damage, right? Only in six I mean, it's not an either or. It's an artifact that you can get for free. So yeah, I would take it. Over this horn? Yeah, the horn's giving us 5%, 15% additional damage. But it's not doing anything to do with healing. So survivability, yes, with defense and HP and then more damage for your team. Ancient Battlefield this season? Yeah, level nine is extremely tough. I did a video on Ancient Battlefield, level nine with the hero you get for free. The biting wind at the border makes me who I am today. And I'll show you that link real quick before I leave. Where is, oh, is this display? Oh, display showing me that screen. No, let's go to primary, primary monitor. Yeah, this monitor. It's this one here. Where'd it go? That one. My pledge is the compass of my journey. Yeah, this video right here will show you that I went through ancient battlefield with all epics. These epics. So I have Garius, Varesh, Adolphus, this new Kurza, I think is her name. Kurza? Something like that. I think her name is spelled K Y R Z A. 
Urza, and then I've got Total Nam, but you can use any DPS you want. Do you have Adolphus and Varesh <laughs> and Garius? They're like the, the three strongest epics you've ever seen in the game right here. These three. If you have them. If you have those three, you pick her up from the pillars doing 60 floors. She's going to do your decreased attack with a recharge speed penalty to keep the boss slow. And it should be an easy run. And then whatever DPS you have here, use that. You have Garius of the three? Oh, you don't have Varesh and you don't have Adolphus? Nathaniel can do some shields, but he also does a lot of buffs. We want healing without buffs. I mean, you can do it after the boss does its ultimate, sure. As long as you do it before the boss does its ultimate, shields, uh, regen, and all that kind of stuff, you, you can. The second, like the second skill of the boss where it says it does take away buffs, it doesn't. The second skill says it takes away buffs, but he really, really doesn't. But the ultimate will. The ultimate will take away buffs and give him a damage increase. No epic selector sucks ass. I, I you know, it, look at my face. <laughs> What's that guy's face doing, man? What is he doing? He's so happy right now. And I only have witch's remains. Oh, that's that's fine. You can use witch's. I used it without the staff. I actually did this run without the staff because somebody was asking me to do it, and I just used um, the banner. It's fine. I used the banner with it, which is a rare artifact, and it was a fine run. No problem. We might even be able to do it right now if I have that team still loaded, which I don't know if I do. That was on my account. That wasn't on the test server. That was here. But Ancient Battlefield, I agree, is really overtuned for last season even and for this season. I think it's well overtuned. It shouldn't be this hard. You let the whales go fight on leaderboards. You let free to play low spenders be able to get, you know, these dungeons done so that we can get gear and then they can try to do as much as they can in the season. But you, you don't make this incredibly hard for free to play and low spenders. You just shouldn't do that. I think I have it here. Yeah, this one. She's got the crown on. He's got witch's remains. Total Nan has the banner on right now. For some survivability. What is... Uh, oh, we'll go with this one. Go with a scarab on him. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Maybe our times are right. Oh, we could have eaten some food, though, just to be sure. We could do some defensive food with accuracy. Although my current team now is with Meredith. A, a common. See, even though we don't have Adolphus with that shield artifact on, it, don't get me wrong, that shield, the staff helps out a tremendous amount. The staff really helps out. But it's not mandatory. Now, sometimes I fail on this boss regardless, right? Sometimes I just... You just get hit. Just at an inconvenient time and you die. But Adolphus still puts up amazing shields. And then Garius is going to finish healing us off. So it works out. We get the decreased attack up before the boss does its ultimate. We got the slow recharge speed penalty. So the boss is slower. So we can stay with it. Even though this boss is on an 18 second, right? 19 second. This boss is actually pretty easy to stay with. 18 seconds. Yeah, it's pretty easy to stay with. You could use incense burner if you need to bring somebody down, but with with her doing the recharge speed penalty, you don't have to worry about skill haste and all that. But you don't need to use her. I mean, if you have somebody that can do decreased attack, you can use skill haste gear. You can use the incense burner. You can use runes that have skill haste on it. I think it's pretty... It's not that difficult to get a 20 second skill down to 18 seconds, especially the skills that you need. Like if you want Varesh to stay in line to block, if you want your decrease attacker to make sure that they're 18 seconds to decrease attack, it might be easier for you. Instead of leveling up a new hero. What's going on? It doesn't season one play the same as like now.
Yeah, but was that team like when were you doing the boss at, in the season? Uh, at what point? Were you doing stage nine after you had your elemental advantage, like really, really maxed out? Were you doing a five-man comp or were you doing a three-man comp? And I'm with you. I feel like it's harder too, though. It, it should not be this hard. Free to play. Again, free to play low spenders and people that are unlucky that do spend hundreds of dollars need to be able to complete this content so they can get gear and compete or at least feel like they have a sense of progression. And the whales can just do whatever the whales do, you know, with the leaderboards. They can fight over that. But this, to get to stage nine, should not be something that you're you're completing at the end of the season. It shouldn't be like that. Should be challenging, kind of, I guess, but it shouldn't be it shouldn't be like that. Looks like we're gonna do okay, maybe. It could fall apart though. At any at any point, you could get like miss that decrease attack. Like right now, we're not removing all the buffs. I think uh, I would need the manual right now to make sure that we're gonna do it because we're out of sync with the boss. At least Varesh is. No, no, he's good. I don't know why the boss actually got up bust before. Varesh should be blocking right now. I think we're okay. The boss does have six additional stacks, but we're all right. Decrease attack is up. No buffs are on. We can't go forever like this because we do have it on a, on a timer. And the timer is starting to definitely get out of whack. Like, I think she's going to apply... No, she's good on decreased attack, actually. She's doing it at the right at the right point still. We're still good. We can still go quite a few rounds and still be in sync with the boss. Yeah, easy times. You really hope that Epic Selector will come again? It'd be nice. I think it would be nice. It, it can't hurt things. I think it'd be okay. Even if it was $4.99, I still think it would be all right. But currently, I don't use that team. I, you know, I use another team that's stronger, that's faster. But there's nothing wrong with that team. Finally, some non-legendary lineups. Now, why isn't my team in here? I was the first one to ever do a non-legendary lineup. And, and my team, like my own team, will never pop up. That team that we just saw. I used to come in here and check and there'd be no teams. No teams at all. Will it not show your completing it? Uh, okay. He's got healing, 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 DPS, DPS, block, same kind of stuff. Nimbus. Is this Amanda? Okay, Amanda's in here for some reason. Amanda doesn't remove, right? Amanda just does electrocute. And gives buffs. I guess he has the ultimate turned off. Well, I don't know why man is in here. I don't know why you'd bring man in here. You think they filter it out? They filter out your own teams? Yeah, it's really weird though, right? I hope everybody else could see it when I first did it. I mean, I did a video on it anyways, but I hope other people could see it. All right, guys, I'm out. Two hours and 52 minutes. I will see you all tomorrow. We'll go over to Faye Meander, knock that out. I also want to get back on the test server and start testing out some teams for some of these chief challenges. Everybody is saying that Lacinia is still like one of the hardest chief challenges to get 22 million on. I want to test out some teams and make some notes for her and see what we can do tomorrow. And then whatever kind of testing we want to do. If we want to test some artifacts, DPS artifacts, healing artifacts. If we want to test out some more gear, all that kind of stuff. Get back on the test server. Uh, are my rating? Why? Who's who's around? Who, who's who's uh who's doing stuff? Uh, am I rating somebody or am I rating Shadow Legends? I don't know who that is. Uh, I don't know who that person is, Drummus. Browse, 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 Dragon Air Sonic Gods. Who is that person, Strummus? 
Have a good day. Yeah, you too, man. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Uh, I don't even see that person. Oh, over here. I could I couldn't see him. Hold on. Bay 143 6 through 150. Nice. Is he lagging? Yeah, we can rate him. I'm trying to watch his stream. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if he's... Uh, you guys want to see some more of this? Papa. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Have a great one. Hey, I'm doing good, man. I'm about to take off. We did a two-hour and three-hour stream. And we did some really cool stuff. But the VOD will be here for you to watch. But I'll be back tomorrow, same time. So come catch me then, please. I, th I think he's lagging like crazy amount. But there's the raid. All right, fellas. Take care.